Hey, today's April 13, 2022. Finally got a working ignition coil to fix the engine problem that started last year. So last year, I uh, can go back to the video recording from last year around this time. Uh, the tractor was stalling very bad. It was not working properly. It turned out that you know one of the cylinders not firing, uh, is not working. And it happened to have both issues. The ignition coil was bad, and the spark plug was bad. So normally, one goes bad, you replace it, you know, problem solved. But it took a while to figure out that you know both the spark plug and the ignition coil were bad on the left, uh, uh, on the left engine. The right engine cylinder is still good. So, you know, uh, did a major tune-up last year. It was working fine. It was under power. It was basically the whole track was running with one cylinder. So the other cylinder was kind of like iffy uh, because this is the old coil. This is the original coil that was bad. Uh, we tried to replace it with a brand new coil last year, but it turned out that most of the aftermarket coil were only meant for a single cylinder, you know, like a, a small lawn mower. But for a dual cylinder engine, you need to get the right one. That, that's made for a dual cylinder. So this year I finally found this one uh, and it's designed to run for this engine, two cylinder. What happened is that, you know, uh, if it's not the right one, the kill wire would ground each other out and basically the left ignition coil would cancel out the, the right one, vice versa. So the moment you put it on, the engine will not run properly. Uh, so got the right one this year, just now and simply just put it back on and now it's running beautifully both engines firing up properly and how do you check both engines working simple uh, you unplug this plug wire which is what i'm showing here and you stick a screwdriver in while it's running on one cylinder you can start the tractor while it's running on one cylinder with the screwdriver plug in to the, to the ignition coil and you bring it near uh, a metal ground. Don't touch it, just bring it near and you see the spark jumping over from the screwdriver into the ground. And that means your ignition is good. Um, so you know that if one engine's running, that means the other engine's good. And if this one has spark, this one's good. So just to make sure you can uh, plug this back in and then unplug the other side and do the same thing, start it up, so this one should be running by itself. If it's running good, then it will start right up on one cylinder. Um, and then you check the other one, same thing. This one, just be careful with the fuel line, make sure there's no fuel. Um, and when you do the spark check with a screwdriver, be careful that you know you jump the spark right onto the metal and don't jump it onto the fuel line. And that's it. So, the... <clears throat> Right now, both are running fine. I'm not changing that one. It's gonna run for a little bit. Probably gonna run for another year or two, maybe. Uh, this is a brand new one, so it should last for another 10 years, hopefully. But I got a spare one, the second one, just in case if that one dies, I have one here to replace it.